Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Microsoft Office 365 is actually a pretty cool program. It's the Microsoft Office that we all know and love, except it's available on a cloud storage system as well as on your device. We're talking Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook for your emails, and OneDrive for file storage. There are a few different purchase options with Microsoft 365, and while what you get varies slightly depending on which option you've chosen, Every option comes with one terabyte of free OneDrive cloud storage. And for the record, one terabyte is huge, probably more than you'll ever need. Office 365 is available for the individual and business user alike, and thanks to its latest revisions, is ideal for working on the go. Work on a document at your desktop, read through it on the phone on your way home on the bus, and then make changes on your tablet once you're home. Simple. All your documents are accessible anywhere with changes saved automatically to your OneDrive cloud storage, so that's pretty cool. Historically, I've used my single license versions of Office, but as part of my BTEC initiation, I've been immersed deep into the world of Google Drive and Microsoft 365. Accordingly, I've been testing them out on six different devices, laptops, tablets and phones, and on three big operating systems, iOS, Android and Windows. So, is 365 really all it's cracked up to be, or would you be better off with Google Drive? The really great thing about Microsoft 365 is it looks and feels exactly the same, no matter what device or operating system you're using, so there's a real sense of familiarity and ease of use because the iconography and key functions are all the same across the operating systems. Personally, I find Office a bit too fiddly on my phone for anything more than document viewing and basic edits. Still, it's pretty useful to be able to interchange between your tablet and the work computer. Like I mentioned, the main competitor to Microsoft 365 would be Google Drive. It's the same idea, cloud storage plus document suite. Specifically, it features Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides and a few more, and they're all available wherever you can log into your Google Drive account. You'll also get 15 gigabytes of storage for free with the option to buy more. Where Google Drive falls down, it isn't available on Windows Phone devices. Google simply doesn't make its apps available on Windows smartphones, so if you've got one, the decision's sort of already been made for you. Google Drive is also significantly less comprehensive for in-depth editing and offline working. Me personally, I'd still go for Microsoft Office 365 if I was looking to pay for a service or needed the best solution for work. Aside from the obvious additional storage it offers, simple things like traditional Microsoft Word track changes aren't as freely available in Google's document suite. But it's the feeling of familiarity and having the software on my device that really wins me over. I've used Office for so long that I know where everything is that I need, which ultimately means less time fluffing around trying to figure out the software. That, paired with the fact that I'm working offline every now and then, well it makes it a no-brainer. I hope you enjoyed my first feature video on BTECT, and there will be plenty more. Remember guys, if you're having trouble understanding my accent, just watch more of my videos and you'll pick it up soon enough. Thanks for watching. Get free tech advice for your business from O2Gurus. Search O2Business for more.